Hello, and welcome back to this Pokemon Dark Rising Nuzlocke. I'm your host, Super Saiyan Blue Lucario. Last episode, we had a very, very tough battle against one of the Dark Leaders. A six-on-six -six battle that got very intense. So if you haven't seen that already, definitely check that out. We got an encounter. We got Captures the Steelix. We got an evolution as well. And that lead us, leads us right into the team recap. First up, we have Drogon the Shellgon, level 34, sassy nature, holding the Dragon Fang, the Rock Head ability, moves Dragon Pulse, Headbutt, Shadow Claw, and Bite. We have Beth the Meganium, level 32, bashful nature, with that thick fat ability that is really going to come in clean against Fire and Ice types if I have no choice but to use Beth. We have the moves Body Slam, Light Screen, Magical Leaf, and Synthesis. We have Sasha the Swellow, one of the heroes of that big battle at the end of last episode. Level 31, Naive Nature, Guts Ability, the moves Wing Attack, Heat Wave, Double Team, and Quick Attack. Next we have Metamech the Embor, who evolved in the last episode. The Brave Nature, the Blaze Ability. The moves Brick Break, Roll Out, Ember, and Defense Curl. We have Cat the Mushana, level 32, the Naive Nature, Synchronize ability. The moves Psybeam, Dream Eater, Moonlight, and Hypnosis. Last but not least, we have Becca the Gyarados, Naive Nature, Intimidate ability. The moves Weather Ball, Tackle, Bite, and Dragon Pulse. That is a squad. The timer is set. Let's get cracking. Now, my first thoughts are simple. Because I've done a lot of thinking um, between the last recording and this. Uh, well, I did that last night. This is uh, first thing in the morning, which means potentially sleepy plays. I've literally been awake 15 minutes. So if my commentary isn't quite on point, I apologize. I will do my best. I've got a coffee, so I am slowly waking up. But basically... The lack of an electric type is hurting me. It really is. So, who would we replace? And I thought, unfortunately, despite her heroics in the last episode, Sasha, you're going to be switched out. Now, my reasoning behind this is as follows. What types are flying super effective against? Bug, fighting, and grass. Now... Fighting types, we've got covered with Cat, the Mushana, and the Psychic type. Bug and Grass, we've got covered with Embor. Whereas Elect we have nothing really... I mean, okay, we've got... Um, against Flying types, we're a bit stuck. And against Water types, yes, we have the Grass type as well. But... Having that electric type is really going to help me. Oh, here we go. And I don't want to have to rely on Embor against flying types. Because, let's be honest, we're, half, we're part fighting ourselves in that. So, that's always going to be a risky play. And we're... Of course we're burnt. Why why wouldn't we get burnt from Ember? <sighs> Confuse Ray. Uh, of course you land Confuse Ray. RN Jesus, please. RN Jesus, please. Shadow Claw. Oh wait, I didn't put the experience share on um, Jay. Damn it. Let's go for a bite. Come on, Iron Jesus. Come on, Iron Jesus. There we go. Okay, Nine Tails is gone. Let's jump to XP. Emolga. Okay. So, I'll send in Jade. Get her some experience. We're not staying in with Jade because that would be absolutely foolish. 
or said in Metamech. Now, I know Emolga is electric flying, but I don't think it has a flying type move. Yeah, it goes for Shockwave. We can eat that up. Now, the reason I'm sending you is because of this. Rock type, super effective. As long as we hit. Which we do. Excellent. Okay, next turn, we'll put you down. Pursuit will do nothing because we're fighting. And rollout finishes off the Emolga. Nice. Jay gets experience. Metamec gets experience. Okay, first priority experience share. Give that to Jade. Slap on Super Potion to Drogon. I'm primarily going to be leading with Drogon for one reason. They've changed the evolution levels of the starters. And, like, the starter Pokemon normally as well. Because, I mean, obviously, Embor at level 30. But, I mean, we got Shellgun at level 20. So, does that mean we can get a Salamence at level 36? That's another reason why I was okay with switching out Sasha. Because, let's be honest, Salamence is part flying, and it gets fly as an evolution move. Oh, double edge. This could be a little dangerous. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Darumak has huge physical attack, like Darmanitan especially. Jeez. Uh, I am switching you out. We're going to go in with Metamech. I am not messing around with this. Wow, that Darumaka. I mean, Double Edge, I think, is uh, 120 base power. So, I mean, it's no slouch, that move. Cubju is gone. Jade gets experience. And Jade's growing quite... Jade will grow quite quickly, especially with the uh, trainer battles that we're facing. So, I am more than happy for this. Hopefully, we can get you leveled up enough to be usable... Um, uh, next episode. If not, there may be a granny montage coming. Okay. Speaking of the granny montages and the intro and outro, the music that I use for those uh, comes from bensound.com. They do a lot of royalty free music for people to use in video projects. Um, absolutely fantastic pieces out there. I mean, I've only used a very small sample of what they have. They have a large, large library uh, to pick from and they are just awesome all they ask is that you credit them in the videos which I, I do ever since I've started using them uh, in the description box below I do leave a link to their site um, and credit for the music because th there's some great pieces out there I, I love the pieces I use I used a couple of other pieces as well for the uh, Life of Lucario Fluffy Noodles Adventures video so I mean there, there's a huge range of different um, tracks that you can use so if you're looking for music that is royalty free and you don't because you don't have someone that you can commission to uh, like make the awesome music you want this is a fantastic alternative and you should definitely definitely check them out obviously I do I will be looking for people to commission for my own series as well when I have the finances for it but this is an incredible alternative, and I'm very, very grateful for Ben Sound to uh, for the pieces that they've created for me, and uh, well, not just for me, but they've created in general um, for allowing me to use their material. I, I really, really appreciate that. Much, just as much as I appreciate all of my viewers and subscribers. Big enough, welcome back to the channel if you're a returner, and if you're new, welcome to the family. If you want to hit that subscribe button um, and the bell icon that appears next to it, you'll be notified as soon as any video goes live. We have uploads on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. On Tuesdays and Saturdays at 6 p.m. GMT, we have the Let's Play series which is currently Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle 4. Bit of a puzzle, platformy side style game. And obviously there's been other Let's Plays in the past. Um, Super Mario Land, Wario Land, Metroid, Legend of Zelda. So a bit of something for everyone basically on that. 
And then Thursdays and Sundays, 7 p.m. GMT, we have the Pokemon series. Uh, be it a, primarily there'll be Nuzlocks um, from the main series or ROM hacks. Uh, there's hopefully going to be some Pokemon side games in the future coming on there. Uh, but they go up at 7 p.m. GMT. Uh, GMT, British Standard Time, for those of you in other parts of the world. So definitely check this out. And if you have any friends at all who like Pokemon content, who like old school Nintendo content, sh please share my videos, help this community grow. Um, share the posts, share the videos um, around. Let's help this community grow. I am on the road to 100 subs, and oh, at the time it's recording, I'm I'm hopeful I can reach 100 by year's end. I mean, it's a real. It, I think that's a reasonable goal. I the growth from the channel over the past few months has been absolutely incredible, and I really appreciate every single one of you, uh, everyone who leaves comments, everyone who likes the videos, everyone who subscribed. I mean, it's absolutely insane for me, and I really appreciate everyone from the bottom of my heart. I mean, this is why we do this. I, mean, I, I do it because I love to create content. And I want to share that content with as many people as I can. And the fact that some people, like, it doesn't matter how many, but as long, some people actually enjoy what I do. And that's the most incredible feeling, the most amazing validation. Shows that maybe I'm not so bad at what I do. And I'm getting to share something I'm really passionate about with an audience. Which means the world to me. I mean, on my own selfish perspective, I'm rediscovering games uh, that I haven't played in ages. I'm getting to play games for the first time. So I'm getting to do something I'm really, really love and passionate about. And I'm sharing that with an audience and people are watching because they enjoy what I do. And I'm very grateful for everyone. I would be absolutely nowhere without any of you. And it's what motivates me to continue striving towards making the best content I possibly can. Um, my new job's helping me put money aside to get better equipment, to improve the production value of my videos, because I want to make the best possible content for you guys. I always do. I'm striving to improve on a daily basis. And, oh God, that's a whimsicott. That's a whimsicott. Get off my screen now. Getting flashbacks. Yeah, I, I, I'm striving to make the best possible content I can. And I really, really hope that I can continue to do so for as long as I possibly can. I'm giving this YouTube thing all I've got. But I need your support to help this channel grow. So please, just share the videos, share the posts. Uh, you can follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Uh, you can always keep up to date with everything to do with this channel. And even bits and pieces to do with my life as well. Uh, for anyone who's remotely interested in that. <laughs> let's go with you. Let's go Magical Leaf on you. Son of a bitch, you went for a super potion. But yeah, definitely, uh, you can follow us at links at the bottom of the video and the description box below if you want to check that out at all. Oh, sorry, I just needed a bit of coffee. It's still really early in the morning. I'm still waking up properly, so... Hopefully the commentary isn't too sleepy. Speed boost Whimsicott. Oof. Let's go bite on you. Let's go magical leaf on you. Stop healing the damn thing. Oh god, Sinchino. That's going to be a five hit. This is going to take forever. Oh wow. That means it doesn't have skill link. The whole point of using a Sinchino, especially competitively is skilling because he gets access to so many of the multi-hit moves like Rock Blast, Bullet Sea, things like that. So it has a very diverse range of uh, moves. Let's go Shadow Claw on you. Let's go Magical Leaf on you. It's a very diverse range of moves. And all of them, or almost a large amount of them, are multi-hit moves. So Skill Link guarantees the, um, the five hits every time. So I'm very surprised that that thing ha didn't have skill link. I actually used it in a draft league once, and I led with it in my first battle. And the way the 
my opponent had built their team around. It was literally like, okay, so he's probably going out to this, 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 and you could even hear him on the commentary because um, he was recording a video for his own purposes. And so, yeah, he's probably going to go lead with this, so I'm going to do this, 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 and oh, that's that's not what I expected. And it threw him. I mean, I still ended up losing overall, which is probably why I led with the Cinchino because um, I didn't think I could when they are far more experienced than me at competitive battling. I'm still learning um, a lot of the game moment in terms of competitive. Okay. Ooh. Oh my god, I met the champion. Oh, it's Ash Ketchum. Uh, I'll get back to that story in a moment. Let's talk to Ash. Okay then. All items ready and packed. And, huh? Oh, you must be Lucario, right? How did you know? Oh, I'm sorry. My name's Ash. Gary told me a lot about you. Really? Yeah, I'm off now to save Brock. Bad guys with exploding Pokemon have him. Brock? I just battled him a while ago near Atlantic City. Hmm. Here, you can have this. Interesting. Well, I'm off now. See you later, Lucario. I'll be seeing you around, Lucario. Let's go, go, go. We have an encounter in here to come, so... Oh, straight away there's a battle. Joys. But there is an encounter in here, so yay. Anyways, back to, um, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, I'm still learning a lot of the competitive scene. Um, I do know a lot about like some of the, the actual in-game stuff. But when it comes to competitive and building the teams, I'm still learning a lot of it. I, I may come across sometimes, especially with some of the people I talk to, that I know more than I do. But... Oh, actually, if you have Icicle Spear, this could be dangerous. Let's try Shadow Claw. Hopefully, this one shots. It doesn't. That's Ice Beam! Oh, God, that stab as well. <gasps> that was a crit! That was a crit! Beth. Now, I know we're weak to ice, but we have thick fat. We should eat up a good chunk of this. Oh! <laughs> wow! I mean, our special defense is huge as well, so that also helps. My god! Now, right, what do you have? Magnemite, we're switching. Uh, let's go Metamech. This is why you have a diverse, a balanced, diverse team in a Nuzlocke. You can't just have one OP Mon. You need Pokemon to back up in case of things like this, in case things start going wrong. Jade's level 20. Damn, Jade's growing really fast. Metamet's level 31. Let's go. Okay, Ghastly. Yeah, we're switching. Um, I would go Drogon. Probably should. But now we'll go Becca. Just because I don't want to have to heal straight away. And if Ghastly goes Curse or something like that. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to risk um, not outspeeding. We'll go Weather Ball. <sighs> I'm probably going to he um, go heal. I mean, it's a long way back though. Ah, uh, it is a long way back if we have to go heal. That's annoying. But these caves generally are filled with Chansey who heal us. So I could try risking it and see if there's a Chansey close by. I'm going to switch you for Cat because Cat is amazing and Cat is unstoppable. Let's get our encounter before we go anywhere anyway. Speaking of encounters. Ah, uh, you have ex you have self-destruct. We missed hypnosis. Rock slide. Ooh. Ooh. How many rock slide? That is a powerful. If I can get a golem out of that, that could be a really powerful. Because that gives us a ground type as well. Okay, quad weak to water and grass, but we'd never stay in against water and grass. Dream Eater. Oh, actually, no, that's dangerous. That could kill, actually. Uh, and we crit. Wow. We crit. 
Oh, I did not want to kill that encounter. That was not the play. Uh, repel. Okay. Oh, yes. I will take that. I'm so glad I didn't heal. <laughs> I didn't run all the way back because I did that in one of the previous caves. I used a lot, so many healing items only to find a Chansey literally like five yards away. And wow. Oh, God. There's cultists as well. This is going to be fun. Now, what do you have for me? Four Pokemon. C Dot. Dragon Pulse. Should one shot this thing. Oh, crit for good measure. Nice. Rug and Roller will stay in. Dragon Balls again. Yeah, let's go, Drogon. Drifloon, staying in. Dangerous thing is all of these Pokemon potentially have self-destruction explosion. So I have to literally one-shot these things because they're in the range to learn those moves. And I'm trying to make sure I one-shot everything to reduce the risk. Level 21 for Jade. Wow. Slash. Oh, very nice. What can we get rid of for Slash? <sighs> that is a good question. I don't know. The T-Bolt is... No, sorry. Thunder Wave is a good move, but... Slash high crit hit ratio. I don't know your physical attack, though. We'll get rid of Thunder Wave for now because we do have Hypnosis. I can always go find a move relearner to teach you Thunder Wave again. Okay, coughing. Ooh, coughing. Let's send Cat for you. I need to check Jade's stats, actually. Um, I mean, I don't know the base stats off the top of my head. and Wow, coughing out speeds and Shadow Ball. Did not... Ex it's got a defense drop as well, and Ghost is physical. If we don't kill on this... We should one-shot, though. Should one-shot. Yeah, there we go. Starting to get a little concerned with some of these moves that are coming out. Okay, you've been defeated. That's awesome. Alright, let's have a look at Jade's stats. 30 attack. 33 special. So, the special attack's still higher. So, maybe Thunder Wave would have been a bit better. Oh, wait, no, don't go into the healing items because we have a Chansey on the other side of the stairs. I'm so glad for these chances. No, I didn't want to heal again. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Run around here. Let's go. Okay, going up here. Across here. There's waterfall and things like that, so there's a lot to explore in this region. Repel war off. No, thank you. There you go. Not dealing with wild Pokemon in here. I don't even want to know what I could have got. Because it's just going to upset me. I mean, come on. Can't believe we killed the Graveler. I mean, I should have seen it coming. I mean, ooh, Archon. This thing has Defeatist, so that is potentially dangerous. Let's go Dragon Pulse. Has Rock Slide. Oh. Yeah, that's potentially a problem. If it survives, though, we'll be fine. That should half its attack and defense. So this shouldn't do anywhere near as much. Unless it crits. Damn, son. Stay, I'm switching out. Because the likelihood is that thing will have Ice Beam. And I am not messing around. Magical Leaf. Yo, let's go. Down goes a Staryu. Zoroa. Ooh. 
Interesting. Jade would be amazing against... Oh, X Scissor, actually, as well. Depends on the level of this. Actually, we don't have... Um, the, okay, definitely wouldn't send in um, when it's, like, six levels below. Plus, our stats aren't incredible right now. I'm probably not going to use Jade until she evolves. Uh, let's go roll out. Boom. A Zoro that gets transformed. I mean, I know Illusion can make it look like things, but... Interesting. And it ha... Ah, okay. We're staying in against the Ditto. Oh. Okay, Brick Break will probably do a bit of damage. Uh, I need the kill. I need the kill. There we go. Thank you. That was a little squeaky bum tap. Okay. Definitely healing up Metamech. Definitely healing up Drogon as well. Wow, I did, I forgot about Drogon being uh, considerably down on health. That critical hit from the Archon. There is another um, thing as well, because we will get an Archon through Fossil. So an Archops would be incredible to add to the squad. Plus that would give us a Rock Typing as well, which adds another potential to us. That would be super effective on Bug and Ice. I think, uh, and flying as well. Execute. Interesting. Shadow Claw. Put this thing down! Really? Stun Spore? You really gonna do me like this? Are you kidding me? Explosion from an Execute. Oh, hell no. I cannot afford to mess around with any of these Pokemon. Wow, that did so much damage. I mean, it's 140 base power. So, well, is it 140 or 180? So, I mean, I'm not entirely surprised. Just sending cat. But damn, son. Oh, come on. Why is everything get an explosion? No. No! 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 That's not fair. Oh my god. I'm getting the hell out of here after this. Oh. Oh my god. We lost Oh, hell no. Oh, Jesus. That is our first death of the series. I have an escape rope, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I do. That is genuinely heartbreaking. 
Cat with so much power. But explosion? Oh my god. There's always I, I thought self-destruct maybe, but explosion at that level? I actually have to create a death box now. Oh, now I don't have any status moves either. I've lost my psychic type. Oh. That is huge. That is huge. Rest in peace, cat. We're going to miss you. So who do we replace with? You know what? Floofy the Kranidos. You're coming on the squad. And I know we're not quite at the end of the timer. But that's going to do for this episode, I think. We're going to end it here. I'm going to do a grinding montage to train up the uh, Pokemon I ha the new Pokemon I have um, for the start of the next episode. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've been your host, Super Saiyan Blue Lucario. You can follow me on social media. Links are at the bottom of the video and the description box below. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share for more content uploaded every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. And until next time, it's time for me to have a cup of tea.